Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. You are my radio daddy. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, listen to this story. It's for a website called LifeSiteNews.com. Dateline, Minneapolis. A Minnesota couple welcomed the birth of all six of their sextuplets at St. Luke's Hospital in Minneapolis. Although the couple's and their children's story would have been far different if doctors had their way. In a statement, Father Ryan Morrison said... The babies arrived sooner than we'd hoped for. But we are optimistic. Brianna is doing well. Thanks to all who are praying for our family, we are very happy to be parents. After 22 weeks, Brianna Morrison gave birth to four boys and two girls just before midnight. All six remain in critical condition and weigh between 11 ounces and 1 pound 3 ounces. The couple named the boys Bennett Ryan, Trig Benton, Lincoln Sean, and Silas Christopher. Okay. They named the girls Lucia Ray and Cadence Alana. Ryan and Brianna Morrison, both 24, had spent more than a year trying to conceive. Until, of course, (laughs) Brianna began taking the fertility drug, Folistim. The story of the Morrison six little, quote, blessings, as they call them, would have been different if they had followed the advice of doctors. After learning Brianna was carrying sex tuplets, doctors strongly recommended selective reduction, a common euphemism for selective abortion, emphasizing they believed the potential risks were too great. However, the couple wrote on their website, We knew right away that this is not an option for us. We understand that the risk is high, but we also understand that these little ones are much more than six fetuses. Each one of them is a miracle given to us by God. (laughs) Ryan Morrison wrote on his website, As we listened to the sound of those six beating hearts, I felt crushed by the weight of the miracle that was bearing down on me. Swallowed up by a life-changing act of God. Despite having just a small two-bedroom apartment and only one crib, car seat, and stroller. Jesus. The Morrisons decided in, quote, those moments of utter confusion to embrace all their unborn, quote, blessings and trust in the providence of God. Can you imagine what kind of website this is? Truly, God would sustain us in this, just as he has sustained us in everything we've ever experienced. That's great. Yeah, God will pay for everything. God's going to take care of it. He will bring the lives of these babies to full health and fruition, and everyone will say, look, God has done something amazing. 
By the way, you can see their website. It's uh, morrison6.com. If you want to see their website with their blogs and whatever, morrison6.com. Go look at that. I got some news for the Morrisons here. I'm an atheist, of course, but if you believe in God, how can these be blessings from God? You know, just as there are people who are Christians who believe that using birth control is going against God's will, they also kind of believe that about abortion. These people went against God's will because you know what God essentially said to them? You are not having kids. You are barren. I've chosen you to not have children. And these two people who believe they are religious said to God, hey, screw you, we're going to use a drug and get pregnant anyway. These people, uh, of course, if you believe in God, uh, why are you going against his will and using fertility drugs? God said no kids for you. It's like the soup Nazi, except with babies. No kids for you. And you went ahead and you took the fertility drugs and now you've got six kids in critical condition. And not only that, but uh, you, you could have guaranteed that some of them would have been born healthier and a, uh, at a higher birth weight with a better chance of survival. But no, in your bizarre mix of religion and, um, and uh, uh, childbirth, uh, you decided uh, you were going to give them all a shot. And if some of them die, they die, because that's what God wants. Well, God didn't want you having kids. Do you understand? God said you can't have children, and you went ahead and did it anyway. These are not blessings from God. It's like when Kurt Warner thanked God for helping him win the Super Bowl. Like, like Kurt Warner is the only uh, religious guy in the NFL? The only guy who prays? Plays. Reggie White prayed. He didn't win the Super Bowl every year, did he? Right? Now, thanks to God, he died way before his time. <laughs> thanks a lot for that. <laughs> but I'm just amazed that people would take fertility drugs and then they thank God for the babies that were created. What the hell did God have to do with it? Tom like it. Tom like it. Bam. Tom, Tom, Tom. I just uh, wanted to see if I could get on and say that I think maybe you're just being a little rough. Right. And I think you're a bit of a pussy. The Tom Likey Show. Tom Likas show. Yep, we're on the lot at Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. Of course we are. Say hi to all our friends who work here at Paramount. There's a golf cart here on the lot uh, with a Flash Friday bumper sticker, which we really like. We got our friend Aaron over at the deli who's uh, cranking them out. And we got uh, the boys out of the uh, guard gate outside. We'll keep an eye out for us out there and all our fans. I understand some fans came up and uh, did a little flashing. That's the word I got last night. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. What are you trying to show me here, Gary? No, no tell me. Tell me. You might as well tell me. I was going to say you should send a shout out to Amber in the uh, commissary. Oh, I, absolutely. Yeah. Amber yeah. in the commissary. Yeah. Amber takes good care of us over there, too. Yes. And uh, that roast chicken over there, I have to get the recipe for the roast chicken because uh, I'm obsessed with it. I'm eating it all the time now. Every time we're at the commissary, it's like several days in a row. I just go through this organic roasted chicken with roasted garlic face. You're like seriously in love with that meal. I can't stop. It is perfect. I can't stop. It's that good. Amazing. And I guess some people from Entertainment Tonight have stopped by. Uh, a guy named Scott stopped by, said hello to Dean before, so it's uh, nothing but love around here. Yeah, they're all good to us. And, uh, of course, we got our friend Pat O'Brien, who was sending me some instant messages from the Insider. So uh, it's nice being here in the Paramount community. We're enjoying it, having a good time. Got a lot of fans who listen here, and that's really cool. 
And um, we got to take that uh, behind the scenes tour of the lot, though. We got to get that done. Somebody here promised to take us on the real tour, not not the tour they give the uh, the big wigs and the uh, sycophants. We're talking about the down and dirty behind the scenes Paramount tour. I want to take that one. Get that done. Anyway, all right, here we go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Lori on the Tom Likas show. Tom, is that a question or a statement? Well, that is a statement. But now that I know it's you, hello. Ella, well, who else would say you're on the Tom Likas show except Tom Likas? <laughs> well, you cut out. But anyways, but somewhere um, in there, yeah, yeah, it didn't cut out for that long. I apologize. It cuts out for a split second. People are like, well, you cut out. So what? Cell phone calls cut out all the time. What I heard you say was Tom Likas show, and that's how your screener answered the phone, so I thought it might be him again. Oh, did you hear me say Lori? I did not, actually. You didn't hear me say Lori? I swear to you. Let's try this again. Lori, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Lori. The reason I am calling is I'm calling for clarification. My um, backstory is that I tried to get pregnant for a year. I have a symptom where I do not ovulate, and I took ovulation pills. And long story short, didn't get pregnant. Um, I would ovulate but couldn't get pregnant. So I have since decided that adoption is the route for me. And, you know, I don't know that I believe in God, but I believe in providence. And I believe that, you know, hey, if there's a reason that I didn't have a baby, maybe it's because there's a baby out there that needs a parent. Maybe that's just my way of pacifying myself. I don't know. My question to you is this. Based on what you said, do you think that fertility attempts are wrong, or do you just think that this couple is mixing God in medicine and doesn't have, like, you know, their ideas straight? Well, no, no. I, I'm all in favor of uh, the fertility drugs. Uh, I, I certainly, though, think that if you're going to have eight children— I think you're better off better off thinning out the herd so uh, the the stronger ones survive. Uh, but but uh, I what I don't believe in is, you know, there you are a God fearing person who thinks birth control is wrong because you're interfering with the will of God, blah blah blah, or that abortion's wrong because you're interfering with the will of God, blah blah. Then when God tells you, yeah, I, I'm not giving you any babies, you say, F God, I'm going to go use some uh, birth, uh, some uh, fertility uh, treatments, and I'm going to get pregnant anyway. Well, and I, and I don't think that's such a bad thing. The, the thing is, is that people start complaining. What, what really pisses me Just off. Just don't thank God for it. God didn't have anything to do with it. God, God told you no babies. Well, the thing that pisses me off is the people that go on Oprah and they've talked about, like, how their community has, you know, donated, like, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars for their six or eight children and all this other stuff. And that's one thing that, that annoys me, because when I was going through it, my doctor very carefully told me about the risks of taking certain levels of medication. And I didn't, I mean, hey, twins is great. If I had twins, I wouldn't mind. But he specifically told me in advance that I might have to prepare myself for that selective, whatever you call it. And I knew right away that I would do that if I had to. So I understand what you're saying. It's just I heard you say the words that God didn't give you a baby for a reason. And I'm thinking, well, does Tom not think that I deserve to have a baby? What's going on here? No. I mean, God, look, I'm, I'm an atheist, so I don't think God did anything. Right. Okay. I'm saying yeah. if you believe in God, the logic has to work like this. If, if you believe in God, uh, don't people say this uh, about God all the time? They say, well, if God wants it, it'll happen. God willing. Okay, fine. God said, hey, no babies for you. Okay. All All right. right. So you're you're saying if you're going to go along with their school of thought, then it makes no freaking sense. Makes no sense to be on uh, fertility drugs. God spoke already. He said, no babies for you. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I'm glad you clarified that because I wouldn't want Tom Likas saying that I don't deserve that. Oh, no. I'm, I'm an atheist. There is no God. Do whatever you want. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you, dear. Bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5-800-TOM one 800 tom is our telephone number. It's Rich on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Just I'm wanted okay. to say, man, I think you're an unadulterated genius. I've been listening to you for the last four months, and uh, just the mind frame is so congruent on a lot of issues. And this one in particular, I agree with you. I mean, you know, it, 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 back in the, if you want to go through the Bible, you know, they would say that somebody's barren. They're not having kids. They're not having kids. Medical science is chipped in, and it's, like you said, it's got nothing to do with God. And, you know, part of the, like you said, the, the illnesses associated with some of these weaker children 
you know, if they want to go along with that ideology, could be partly their punishment for, you know, going against what would be, quote unquote, God's will. And to kind of echo what the uh, young lady was saying before me, it, and that's exactly what happens. It turns around, you have these people with eight kids, and then all these people outreach and give all this money, like they're the only kids that were ever born, you know, with, 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 under these kinds of conditions. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it is crazy. But uh, living a life, brother, got rid of the girlfriend, uh, always, you know, maintain the place, live single, and I just I think you're a genius, man. I enjoy your show a lot. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Rich checking in from Miami. Listen to us on Man Talk 640, baby. Which I see now has shown up in the Miami Fort Lauderdale ratings. Did you see that? First time it's shown up in the ratings? We're stepping it up. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. JC on the Tom like It's just that Jesus Christ calling hey, in. Tom. Hello. Yes. Hey, how's it going? You are Aristotle Reborn. Your luck and reason is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for noticing. Yeah, man, that that's it, man. They 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 want to have their cake and eat it too. That, yeah, they want to be able to say, "Don't interfere with God's will," but there they are interfering with God's will. That's right. You know, you know, if if you uh, guess what, they should have adopted. They shouldn't be using uh, fertility drugs if they believe uh, so strongly in God and His will. Yeah, maybe that's the message right there. Like the lady that just called before, you know, she decided to adopt rather than to. Go that route, you know, right. rather to, and she's not even necessarily a God-fearing woman. Right. It always seems like the more religious you are, the worse you are. You know, the more you believe in God, the more this, because, like, you're born-again Christians and all that, they're the worst. They're thieves, liars, all of this. And when they talk about God providing for them, guess what? God's not going to provide for them. Procter and Gamble will try to get some publicity. They'll provide for them. General Foods, they'll be trying to get some publicity. They'll provide for them. Uh, the other morons who uh, are born-again Christians, they will send money. But but come on, God has nothing to do with it. God has nothing to do with it. And that's, and that's the thing. When something goes right, who do they think? And, th and that's why, wrong. and that's why all these yokels are uh, white trash and dirt poor, is because they believe nonsense like this. And that's why people like me are living up in the hills in a four-story house. That's why. And when something goes wrong, they're not saying, "Oh, what happened, God? You let us down." Right. No, they're like, "Oh no, it wasn't God. God doesn't does, doesn't get involved." Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> JC, thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Trina. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. I could not be happier that you are talking about this subject right now. Because it wasn't just this one couple. There was two couples that gave birth, or, you know, two women that gave birth to septuplets within 24 hours of each other. And my thing is, you know, of course they're thinking, God, oh, God, oh, God, thank you so much. These are miracles. But biologically, women's bodies are not supposed to have more than two, two children at a time. We only have two breasts, which means biologically we can only feed two children at a time. So they do this whole, you know, it was God's will that we had this many children, so we're not going to do the selective um, determination or whatever they refer to it as. It wasn't God's will. It was yours. You're the one that chose to take the fertility drugs to get pregnant with that many children. Uh huh. God had nothing to do with it. You went past God. You said, screw you, God. I still want to have children. That's right. So when you get pregnant with that many children, then all of a sudden God did a miracle. It doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Right. I mean, uh, if God was going to perform a miracle, he would take a woman who was infertile and make her pregnant. That would be a miracle, wouldn't exactly. it? Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, if your body is telling you, no, you can't have children, it's a reason. Either you can't carry them for a long period of time, which obviously you can't, because this woman gave birth at 22 weeks because she had six babies in her. They mm -hmm. didn't go full term. They're premature. Like you said, the littlest one is 11 ounces. I mean, what's the likelihood these children are going to survive? They did nothing but hurt these children by having that many of them. That's right. That's right. And by the way, they could all die, or many of them might die. Is that is that better than having an abortion? I don't think so. Neither do I. I'm completely with you in agreement on this one, and thank you so much for having this topic. Thank you, Trina. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mike. 
Hey, you know, I was heading home from work, and I actually pulled off the road because I had to comment on this. You know, I'm tired of these Bible-banging losers making comments like this. Let me give you a scenario real quick for everybody out there listening. If you were sitting at home and you had a headache and you took an aspirin and the headache went away, would you say that God took it away or would you thank the people that made the pill? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It seems, it seems very, very clear cut to me, and I like the comments you just made. You know, what if these kids die? What's God's going to say then? Is God going to say, you know, you knew better, you knew your body couldn't bring six children into the world, but you did it anyway, and four of them died? Now you're going to hell for murder because you made the wrong decision because you're selfish and you couldn't decide to do the right thing like a good person. That's exactly right. That's what they should say. I completely agree, and I appreciate your time, but that's all I had to say, and I'd appreciate it if you could take me out the way I'm going to take myself out when I get home. Here you go, Mike. There's the bong rip for you. <laughs> Sarah on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sarah. Long time listener, first time getting through the line. Thank you. <laughs> um, I totally agree with you on this topic. Um, you know, these people that are like, you know, they're trying to have kids and stuff, and they're trying to say, oh, God, try to help us have kids and this and that, and they can't have kids. So instead of, you know, like your listeners are saying, going and adopting a child that actually needs a home, you go, you take some drugs, and what happens? The chick has a freaking litter, not just a baby. She has a litter like a cat. That's not normal. You don't have six kids. It's just... And then to say, oh, we're completely against abortion, and, you know, we're going with God's will, and blah, blah, blah. They're taking drugs to begin with, and they didn't make the smart choice to begin with. So now they're, they'd rather bring children into the world that are fighting for their lives and living miserable right now as babies than... And, to... and some or most of them may die. Exactly. Like you were saying, you know, eliminate some of the herd or something at, at least, and at least save some of the stronger kids instead of bringing all these kids in and then saying, God, help us, and this and that. And I just, I don't know. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with using abortion over and over and over, over again as a, a form of birth control either. But, you know, I, I do, do these people that are trying to make abortion illegal and stuff. And for situations like that, I do agree with it because that's not normal. You're taking drugs and then to say, you know, oh, it's in God's will and God gave us these kids. That's, that's a bunch of crap. God gave you no kids. That's why you had to take drugs. Exactly. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Harold on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, I'm a little bit uh, audited out by all this, and i, I got to say I'm in somewhat of a disagreement with this. And I'm not here to confuse the idea of human will or human will versus God's will, but the difference being human will would be attempting to have the kids, and God's will would be actually having them. I mean, obviously, God doesn't set in place everything that happens to you. I mean, obviously, he gave us free will. Uh, well, well, isn't it convenient that people only credit God for the things they like? Well, they're not necessarily crediting God for the things that they're getting their way. They're thanking God for the... For, it's basically that they're there experiencing it. I mean, obviously, when something bad happens, they ask God for help, and that's not necessarily... God said God didn't want. help them at all. God ignored their pleas for help. I'm sure they prayed to get pregnant. It didn't happen. So they had to go use drugs. So and if they uh, find the uh, thank the drug company. But don't be thanking God because God spoke and God said no kids for them. And they basically, unless it was his will, would not receive those kids. Is that correct? Well, if it was his will that they uh, would not have the kids before they took drugs. They would basically not have received kids. So, I mean, the idea that they can go and have kids based on the fact that they can take birth control. God didn't invent that absurd. drug. God had nothing to do with inventing that drug. Correct. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the person deciding they're going to take those drugs. 
So what is your what point? What I'm saying is, is that his will would be absolute. So regardless of whether or not they were they have the ability to get pregnant or whether they take the pills or fill, it would not matter because it is absolute as to how... Well, then what about all the I people mean, who won't use birth control because they say it's interfering with God's will? Well, technically it isn't interfering with God's will because God's will is absolute. I mean, obviously they could have side effects and they could die from it, but... The well, the fact is, uh, there are people who believe that you're just supposed to breed like a Xerox machine uh, because that's uh, you're, that's God's will. And God will provide, by the way. If you have uh, 117 kids, God will provide. That's what these people believe. And God's will basically made it so So if you take the, if you take a birth control pill and you have zero kids, they believe you have circumvented God's will. But you haven't. If you have a kid... Well, wait a minute. There, there, are, there are whole swaths of people. Uh, to, to, for example, people who believe in Roman Catholicism. Uh, birth yeah. control is against your religion if you're a Catholic. No condoms, no birth control pills, no s diaphragms, no sponges, no depo provera. You're not supposed to use any of that stuff. Okay. Let, right? I'm going, Isn't I'm going that right? To say Isn't that, that right? Agree. No, no, no. Isn't that right? I'm going to get a response on this before we go to the next part of the conversation. Isn't that right? I may have to have you restate that. There, uh, because you don't listen to a goddamn thing I'm saying. I, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm, I said it once. I'm not repeating it. That's it. I'm not restating anything. If you won't listen to me, you miss the boat. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Laura on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. My name is Laura, and I'm the 605 going north. And it's driving me crazy because I was kind of in this position before. I was infertile, couldn't have kids, was on drugs, did not take the um, IVF. But, you know, when I did go for consultation for IVF with my husband... The doctor let us know that, you know, their plan is to put eight eggs inside of me, eight embryos. And I said, absolutely. And then they would do selective abortion. And I said, absolutely not. I'm not going to abort anything. You are not going to put eight eggs in me. You have the option of taking less eggs. And, yes, the chances are not as great that you're going to get pregnant. Um, but that's a chance that you take, number one, because I chose not to have abortions after being so desperate to have children. And you don't want your kids to come out the way these kids came out. I mean, that's just inhumane. Why would a parent who is so desperate to have kids want to do something like that? Because they only care about themselves, and they don't care about the quality of life of uh, the lives they're creating. They don't. They don't. And I agree, because like I said, you know, when, when the option was for me to have eight embryos implanted, I said no, because I'm not going to you know, have any kind of an abortion, when you're so desperate to have children, you have the option, of, you know, like I said, of, of saying, I'm sorry, put in three eggs and hope that something takes. And if it doesn't, well, then you know what? Like the previous caller was saying, that's God's will. I mean, you know, it, 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 you don't have the right to do what these people are doing to kids. It's just horrible. Yep. I agree with you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Really? Tell me up front, you just want to have sex with me. You don't want a relationship, you don't want anything. You want to call me up maybe once a week, next week, whatever. Get a little and we go our separate ways. Fine. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning again. We're talking... About Ryan and Brianna Morrison. Ah, yes, they are from Minneapolis. And they had sex tuplets. The little blessings, they're thanking God for them. Of course, God didn't give them a fertility drug. God said, no kids for you. And they went uh, against God's will. They had babies anyway. Yeah. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Hector, on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Hector. How's it going, Professor? Great. Hey man, I got nothing but love for you, nothing but respect for you. Uh, well, I'm, I'm out here in uh, in Pomona. You're keeping me alive as I as I wait for a flat tire to get replaced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the best I can. 
Hey, man, you do it right. Well, but um, just now that I got that that whole respect thing off my chest, I I don't know if uh, your your screener guy told you that I'm a I'm a Christian. I totally agree with what you're saying, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying. Tell us why. Um, <laughs> now, I I don't always agree on with on the stuff you say about God, but I wish I wish more Christians thought the way you're thinking about this about this topic. I mean, if if it's like the guy who called you a little while ago said, um, you know, when I take an aspirin for a headache, you don't thank God because he took it away. See, what I do is I, I think I would thank the person who made the pill, and then I thank God for making the person who made the pill. So, I mean, I, I do not think that it is it is God's will for, for people to have six children, you know, and then have them have them be born prematurely. And then and then poor things if they die, you know, that that is not God's will. God's will would have been for them to help some poor kid that needs you know, parents and Maybe it is God's there. will. Maybe it's God's punishment for using fertility drugs. Hey, it, you know, hey, hey, you know, they, they, they left it, they left that barrier of protection the moment that they said, I'm going to say, hey, God, forget about it. You know what? I'm going to do what I want anyway. Thank you for that, Hector. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Joe. Hey, the Bible says the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So even if the Lord gave the couple those children, he's going to take at least one of them away because they're sickly and underweight and all that. Well, I think uh, that could very well happen. And that, that, by the way, that commonly happens in these cases with multiple births. Uh, when they're born in critical condition like this, uh, many of them under one pound. Yeah, so I mean, are these are the couple going to say, well, you know, God sm smote four fifths or? Well, I guess uh, they feel better. If, I guess they feel better if God uh, uh, conks the uh, uh, the kids out and uh, uh, leaves them for dead, rather than if they have an abortion, because then it would be God's will. Of course, if it was God's will, they would have had kids without drugs. Uh, Anyway, Tom, keep your pimp hands strong and uh, take me out Kobe style because that's what Jesus wants. All right, Joe. Uh, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Oh. That's our telephone number. Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? It's a statement. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I think you're a little off the mark on this one. Off the mark? And, and I normally agree with you fully. But fully? But I think you're off the mark here, yes. Because you have the option of making it public when you have this many babies. And I think anyone faced with having... A multiple pregnancy of this magnitude has hit their own personal lottery, if you will. I mean, oh yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember those other? What were those ones called? The ones were on the cover of Time magazine. That woman with the rotten teeth was on the cover of Time oh, with Lord, the eight kids, and they had the uh, Procter and Gamble truck uh, pulling up with uh, the diapers, disposable diapers, and uh, you know they had furniture arriving and uh, all this other stuff was arriving. Exactly. These people have made it public that they're living in their little two-bedroom apartment with one crib and one stroller and one car seat, and, oh, the Lord will provide for us. That's a bunch of crap. A bunch of people are going to start loading them up with donations because they feel bad because these babies are sickly and these people need help, and, oh, they're good Christian people, and we need to rally behind I'm not going to send them. By the way, I am not sending them one penny, not one penny. They made their they made their they made their bed now they're gonna have to lie in it with the babies. Exactly. And these poor babies are being punished for their own parents' poor decision making. And I mean it's like it's almost it's child abuse. It's horrible. I mean, it's I can't even stand it. I think it's outrageous. <laughs> do you think do you think God would approve? I don't know if you believe in God, but do you think he'd approve? No. No, and I and I do agree with your point about well, if you, if you're going to call God into it in the end, then you shouldn't have taken fertility drugs in the beginning, because you're you're contradicting yourself completely. You know, you can't call on God when it's convenient for you. If you're truly a Christian, then it's God all the time. It's not just God when it suits you. Jennifer, thank you for that. Appreciate the call, Hallie, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. 
Tom, this is all I want to say. I don't even want to argue. No, 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 dear. You're not allowed to call up and just bark something and hang up the phone. If you're not planning on having a conversation with me, I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to bark anything. Dear, you, you, you don't want to have a, a conversation with me. You just want to say something. Okay, okay. Not good. You, you can't. You can't do that. No, I'm not gonna let you do it. Uh, this is Gina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you? Long Great. time, first time. Thank you. Uh, you know, I just want. I just kind of got into my car, but I heard you talking about the sex tuplets or whatever they are, sex tuplets. Sex tuplets. Eight million. Who knows? Because there are sex of them. It's absolutely ridiculous that they can implant eleven fetuses or whatever into your stomach and then have six of them take. And then guess what? They're going to be on welfare eventually, and I'm going to pay for it. And all the morons out there will be sending contributions to them. How stupid is that? I mean, it used to be, you know, oh, okay, we had twins. You know, that's nice. Now when they get into four and five and six, seven kids, yeah, they're screaming for help because they can't afford nothing. Yeah. And, you know, you know what? You shouldn't get nothing. I that's agree with you. You know, I mean, I have three kids, and I, there would be no way I could have six kids. That's ridiculous. Right. You know, I mean, how much daycare alone? I mean, they're going to get so loaded by freebies. It's it's just going to be ridiculous. But once those kids take, I don't know, what, two, and they're out of diapers, then they're going to be screaming for something else. Now they need regular beds for their kids, and now they need, you know, they don't need formula anymore. They're just going to need lots of milk, and, you know, we're going to end up paying in the end. Oh, guaranteed. I mean, it's just, I think. And I Minnesota's think pretty much, ridiculous. Minnesota is literally a welfare state. So the uh, good taxpayers of Minnesota will be paying for this for the next 18 years. Yeah, it's going to be the gift that keeps on giving to everybody else, man. You know, we're all going to pay for it eventually. They have it out in all the states. I just think it's, and these kids are born, you know what, a pound, pound and a half. Mentally, they're probably not going to be up to par with a normal kid their age. Um, they're going to have developmental issues, I would assume. Any baby being born that early and that small. You know, so probably going to have uh, issues with brain weight and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, but anyways, I just wanted to throw in my two cents. Thanks a lot for taking the call. Thank you, Gina. Christina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Great. Good. Um, I was just calling to say, you know, the people that are taking all this, these medicines to, you know, enhance their ability to have children, I think it's really sad because there's so many children out there right now that are looking for families, you know, and if it is God's will... It was God's will for those children to find family and to find someone that really cares for them. You would think God would want them to be born into a family that could afford to feed them. Exactly. They well, well, accidents happen. So God places people. I'm not a big God believer, but I'm saying for those people that are out there thinking all this God stuff, there must be a reason why these people can't have children and a reason why these children don't have families. They're met. They're meant to meet up together somewhere along the line, if you truly believe in God. If that was the case, I think people should think along that line versus taking medicine to get pregnant. Good points, Christina. Thank you. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Doing okay, son. Excellent. Uh, I was going to tell you, uh, when I was growing up in high school, I had a friend of mine come over for Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, mom served everything. All the family was over. So, you know, that my friend starts praying to God or, you know, doing the soft prayer or whatever. My dad interrupted him and said, you know, excuse me, what are you doing? He says, uh, you know, you know, blessing the meal and thanking God for the food, whatever. And he said, you know, so I'm the one who busts my ass for 60, 60 hours a week to earn the money to buy the food so my wife can sit in the kitchen all day, cook the food and serve it to you. And you're thanking God, you know. And uh, so, yeah, it was an uncomfortable situation. But, uh, yeah, but uh, it was it was pretty cool. Thank you for that, Ryan. Appreciate the call. We have time to squeeze in one more. Carlos on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Carlos. Long-time listener since I was 18 years old, and I got to say, you are the man. Thank you. Uh, I'm a Christian, first off, but I totally agree with you on about 99% of the things you say. Uh, I can almost say that I'm a man because of your teaching. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we've been married for two years. Before that, you know, we were doing our thing. She hasn't been able to get pregnant. I'm not really, you know, too worried about that, but we would never, ever take any kind of pills. If God doesn't want to I'm pass, glad to hear that. The Tom Likas Show.